All information in this program is known to be accurate at the time of recording. Any commentary by the host is for discussion purposes only. Anyone labeled a person of interest by the host or family has not been charged with a crime. All suspects charged with crimes related or unrelated to a case covered are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Opinions and views expressed by the host do not represent views of the families or sponsors of this program. This episode contains information of a graphic matter that may not be suitable for some viewers and no persons under the age of 18. Viewer discretion is advised. Welcome to this edition of Grim Media News. I'm your host, Steve Stone. Today we're going to talk about Andrew Deweese and his case. The things that we've uncovered and the names behind him. I will. I want to say, first and foremost, that again, once again, viewer discretion is advised. We're going to talk about some pretty graphic stuff. Um, the other thing I want to reiterate is no one has been charged with Andrew's disappearance or homicide. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. And the names that are going to be brought up today are people that we have heard had involvement. I am not going to say who did what. I'm just going to name names. I also want to uh, point out that the people that I'm naming have every opportunity to come on this program to speak with me on the record and talk about why their names are being brought up. And I would be more than happy to do this. I'm doing this because Andrew is still out there. He's missing. He, his remains have not been recovered. I do not believe Andrew is alive. I believe he was murdered heinously murdered, tortured, dismembered, burned by a group affiliated with the new Aryan Empire. Basically, these are these are idiots that get in the woods, get high, um, put women in cages, torture them, um, and they're evil people. They, they don't have souls. Um, I don't have compassion for them um, because of what they do. If you Google the new Aryan empire in Arkansas, you'll see all these people that are involved in this quasi prison gang. Um, again, it's like deliverance on an acid trip. Um, these individuals, they're the ones that are behind Andrew's, um, kidnapping and, and torture and murder. Now, a lot of rumors were, were thrown out that his brothers, Elijah and Joshua, had something to do with Andrew's death and disappearance. Uh, after months and months and months of investigating this case on my own, and the whole goal was to get enough information to send it to police to get this investigated. And we were able to reach that, reach that goal. Sergeant Race with the Arkansas State Police is the investigator um, working Andrew's case. I am no longer investigating the case because there's a detective involved, and that was my goal. This case has affected me emotionally, physically, and mentally, but I'm not going to stop advocating to bring Andrew home, his remains home. Months ago, his family and, and, and friends had a, a service that I attended virtually and spoke at. And to this day, no, no one's been arrested. No one's been held accountable. And we're still dealing with it. And then I, I don't look for new information, but new information comes my way. And new information was brought up so we're going to talk about it and and i figured we need to talk about the people behind this i'm going to name names of people that might either have information of what happened to andrew 
or know what happened to Andrew, or were there with Andrew and saw him alive before his death. Again, I am not going to name, I'm, I'm going to name names, but I'm not going to say who did what. I am going to tell you that Andrew suffered a violent, horrific death. And then, to make matters worse, he was disrespected, desecrated, and treated horribly after death. So let's talk about the people involved in Andrew's life that weren't his friends. And these are people he trusted, people he called friends, and he, they betrayed him. First on the list is Nicole Boiler. This was um, Andrew's girlfriend at the time. And she's been in and out of jail since. The thing about Nicole is, is that Nicole knew Andrew was in trouble. Not only did she know, but she told a family member. Now, this is what I got from the family member. Told the family member, I know where he is. He's in danger. We need to help him. But she didn't do that. She knew what was going to happen to Andrew. She knew there was no way of getting Andrew out of, out of the predicament. But that's what she told everybody. I tried speaking to her numerous occasions. She wouldn't talk to me. I wonder why that is. The other two people were Tiffany Sharp and Stormy Halliburton. Tiffany, Sharp, Tiffany and Stormy gave Andrew the ride the day he disappeared and they gave this cock and bull story that Andrew ran off into the woods well, I'm sure he ran off into the woods because he was being chased it was Tiffany's job and Stormy's job to get Andrew out in the open Tiffany uh, most recently has been telling everybody how long it took to burn Andrew's body she also knew that Andrew uh, was in trouble and it had made numerous statements to the effect that we need to raise money for him. We need to raise money to get him out of, out of the trouble. She never called the cops. She never got him help. She did nothing. The only thing she's done to this point is continue to talk and hang out with the same people that are responsible for Andrew's death. She's lost her kids. She's addicted to drugs. Is, it be is she addicted to the drugs because she has a guilty conscience? I, I, I'm sorry for people that have addiction. I really am. But I think sometimes people turn to drugs for other reasons. To avoid the, co the, the pain and, and suffering that, that they've caused someone. But that's just my opinion. I could be wrong. People knew what happened to Andrew and did nothing. Nothing. So here are the list of names of people who may know, were involved, or knew what was happening to Andrew. J.J. Vaughn, Jaden McGee, Tubbs. Now, there are two Tubbs. I don't know which one. So I, I put Tubbs in, in quotation marks. Matt Baugh. Shaney, Shane Shaney Bot Bradley. What a nickname. Wendell Chisholm. I'm sorry, Matt Baugh and, and Shaney Bot Brown here twice. Michael Mikey Don Smith. Megan Wright. Josh DeWeese. And Rhonda Judy. Let's talk about Josh for a minute and then we'll get back to Rhonda Judy. Now, I spoke to Josh the day he got out of jail early last year. And I asked him if he thought that NAE had something to do with his brother's death. And he said, no, they have to get permission. That wouldn't happen. But 
that's not the case. They didn't have to get permission. Josh's name's on that list because I think Josh knew what was going to happen to his brother. I've been told as much, and he just didn't do anything to prevent what happened to his brother. I think he has a lot of guilt and remorse there. He knows. He, he knows what happened. There's a, a story that I got just this week that Rhonda Judy, who's the last name on that list, had a femur bone belonging to Andrew DeWeese in a car that got impounded. And Josh was trying to, to get a hold of that that femur bone. Currently, Josh DeWeese is incarcerated. I'm not sure about Rhonda Judy or, or what role she played or how she got the remains. But let's, let's go over it one more time. So we have Tiffany, Stormy, and Nicole, J.J. Vaughn, Jaden McGee, Tubbs, Matt Baugh, Wendell Chisholm, Shaney Bop, Mikey Don, Megan Wright, Rhonda Judy. Those are the names of people that had a, either they knew what was going on, it happened in front of them, or much worse. Andrew DeWeese deserves justice. Andrew DeWeese's family deserves justice. They deserve to bury Andrew's remains properly. But these animals took that away, took that right away from Andrew's family. And at the end of the day, they know what happened. Evil is allowed to prosper if good people stand by and do nothing. It takes one person, one brave person to stand up and say, enough is enough, this is disgusting. Now, I've heard some of these people are clean and sober, and if that's the case, and if you're clean, sober, and found God, I am, I'm happy for you. That's great. But... There's no absolution in getting clean, sober, finding God, and not giving a family the ability to put their family member to rest properly. It's also not absolution if the people responsible for what they did to Andrew DeWeese are still running free doing it to other people. These people are bad news. Putting women in cages, locking them up, murdering other people. These are animals. They should go to jail. Law enforcement, if, if law enforcement is investigating this case, and, I, and I, I've, I've talked to this detective early on, and I believed when he said he was looking into it. But if you're looking into an investigation where people had already been interviewed, re-interview them. I'm not going to read on paper what somebody else wrote because the, the key to interviewing people is being there at the time you're asking the questions. And looking into their eyes, looking into their soul. And I'm telling you, you can't just read a piece of paper, words are dead, pardon the expression. But the printed word is dead. You can't, you, it has no, words, words have meaning, yes. But not in a situation like this where you physically have to look at an individual point blank and ask them the tough questions. Were you there? What did you know? I'm very passionate about this case. I'm passionate about all my cases. But this one in particular, because when someone is murdered, tortured, burned, dismembered, treated like garbage because they think no one's going to miss this person, it's just the worst of the worst. And these people, 
need to be put behind bars. They need to go to jail. Some uh, the some people that we name today know what happened to Drew and where his remains are. Call an anonymous tip. Say they're here. Get get somebody out there to look at them. A location was given to law enforcement. And I don't know where they are on that. I do know that something needs to happen. And Andrew needs to come home. If you have any information on Andrew DeWeese, please contact Sergeant Race with the Arkansas State Police. 479-214-2733. Again, that's 479-214-2733. You can remain anonymous, folks. But this young man deserves justice. Doesn't matter where he comes from. Doesn't matter what he did. And if 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 family's involved, I I, I, I honestly don't believe that's the case. I think Josh knew. I think I think he knew what happened. I think he knew before it was going to happen, and he didn't do anything. He's got a lot of guilt. It's my opinion. But if if these people know what happened, then they need to be held accountable, and they need to go to jail. I want to thank you for watching this uh, video. If you would like to subscribe to the Groom Truth Podcast or you want to follow the missing, please subscribe to the Grim Truth Podcast YouTube channel. Hit that notification bell so you never miss an episode um, of the Grim Truth Podcast, Grim Media News, or any other content related to the missing and the murdered. Thank you for watching. I'm Steve Stone, and we're going to continue to be the media for the missing. God bless.